Hey friends, it's Angie from The Road to Simple. And today it is early spring where I live. And so I am going to be making a calendar spread that's inspired by gardening and spring planting. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new today, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. And to those who are returning, I appreciate you coming back. I uh, was inspired by, let me show you. Um, this is the Cheerful Seasons book. But I really, when I ran across this spring gardening, these just really caught my eye and I thought this this looks like something fun for spring and it's got some cute um, insects and and butterflies and other things to go along with spring that I'm going to use and then also I'm going to pull a couple of things from two other books this is the Bohemian Brights there's some uh, greens that match well in here and the rainbow book. I'm going to pull some things out of it as well. Let's get started. I certainly hope that you are excited about spring like I am. So I love to get out in my yard and plant flowers and we do do some gardening, but I will say my husband does most of it, not me, but I enjoy picking from the garden. <laughs> now these are clear. So Kind of have to watch about putting them over lines. I don't think I'm going to worry a whole lot about it. Let's put put the boots in the corner. I think they're really cute. Scatter some of these pots around. I think I will. I'm going to straddle this on this line. And for that reason, I think I will white this out. This is a transparent sticker. So I think I will white out that line so it'll look a little bit neater. Let me go into this book, though, and show you some of the things that I found that I thought were neat. They're somewhere, yeah, there's Grow, which I think would be really cool in here. I'll white out some of these lines. I don't think a lot of times you'll find the stickers will be in transparent and white background, but this one, I didn't see one with a white background. Let's see what was in this one. I think what I was going to go with in this one is, was it that color? This color. This kind of goes with the boots, the co color of the boots. You always like to put my top three. So let's do a top three right here. Let's do, um, you got this. Kind of a positive message to get started at the beginning of the week on the sidebar. Seem like I always have plenty to do at the first of the week. It, it, it's always a good time to at least plan out some of your to-dos, even if you don't have the rest of the week figured out. So I think it's always usually a good time to put bullet points at the beginning on Monday. 
So let's see here. Let's put it to do. I think I'm going to take one of these and incorporate some of the elements from the garden in with this block. So let's try something about right here. This might look cute growing underneath it, coming up on top of that box. I'm actually going to kind of go to the side a little bit. And wipe this out. It'll look like it's growing up from there and covering up that box a little bit. Let's have this growing up across here. And we could put our watering can right here like it's watering that. That would be cute to have that by grow. I think I like that. Because you got to water things to grow. So let's do that. I'm going to white out, use my my jelly roll white, white out pen where that is going to go. Let's try that. Just put our cute little watering can over the grow message. Yeah, I like that. Garden scissors to clip what we've got growing here. So I think I'll put that right there. Let's do about where we still can see Saturday and Sunday. Just Barely go off the page like that. Cute. Now this is what I was thinking. I could put something over that. But actually noted, might not hurt to just leave that there. Use that for something that's going on on one of those two days or during the last half of the week. I'm not always concerned about a box necessarily always being on the day that something is happening. Um, if it's something I can do any day during the week, I can use separate boxes for that. Let's see, where shall we put? We could put these right here. Well, maybe I'll pull out, uh, there's a strawberry on here. Maybe I'm gonna cut these apart so that we can use these across the top. Since I have so much red there, I'm going to put a yellow tomato there. Let's do a red one over here. Let's have these right here. I think I need to have something next to, to the grow where we're watering. Let's put the little strawberry right here. Cute. Let's take one of these, one more of these boxes and I'll make one of the garden stakes coming out of it. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm not going to press the top of this down. It's gonna touch a little bit, but I wanna pick out a couple of these little stakes, these little um, garden stakes and let's stick one underneath there so it looks like it's coming out of the ground. I realize this is not sage but I need something green there. This looks like some broccoli but I don't want that to be sticking out like it's growing in the ground right there. I 
Here, that's cute. I hate when this happens, but my phone memory was full and so my recording stopped. So I think that the only thing that you missed, I think was, I'll put this get it done. I white it out and put that get it done sticker there on the side, unless I may have added these two things uh, while my phone stopped recording. So I had to stop and get rid of a lot of things on my phone, which is another reason that I need to simplify my phone. Too much on it. Anybody else out there have that same problem? Gosh, I do a lot. All right, let's see. Let's try to get this finished so I don't take up too much room on my phone. I'm gonna pull this seed packet out and put here also by the grow. Scatter some fruit across the top. Some blueberries. Cute. There's a cute radish. That might be cute right there. I do like that here. I'm not going to put it all the way down because I'm going to white out these lines under here. I wish these had been on white instead of clear. There, that's cute. Oh, I like that. I don't have a green box in the sticker, so I'm going to use my marker and just make my own because I want this to be one block. So let's see how well I can do this. I think I'm just going to do kind of like hash mark. Doesn't have to be perfect. I like it a little bit slanted. And then I think I will use a sticker inside, a red sticker inside here. I'll use another one of these to do's. Now see, I think that's really cute. Just in hand drawn, kind of a little messy looking. Um, you could add polka dots or something else to it but you don't have to have a box just kind of draw something kind of freehand it make it look a little bit messy that's okay here's a saying choose love and laughter that's red and black that kind of goes with some of the other things on the page i want to put that on my sunday but i'm going to cut it apart Sunday, I don't put a lot on my planner because I want that day to be free to be whatever I need to do. I'm going to just angle it here. Choose love. Oh, that's cute. See, don't, don't have to use everything just the way it comes in the book. Cut it apart, use it at an angle. Let's see, I have an apple. I could put the apple in the corner down here of that box. Or I might do a box over here. Let's see, what should I do? I could put the apple at the top. It's just a little bit bigger than most things there at the top, but I could have the apple right there with the top three. Let's do that. Put a couple more of these little raspberries over here. I have one more garden steak. I could put that up here. I could put it somewhere else. 
Mm -hmm. Let's put that up here. Like it's just stuck in the ground right there. Don't need a whole lot more on this one. Forgot about these cute little ladybugs and such that goes with the grow and these leaves. Let's put a ladybug in here. I could have a ladybug come into the plant here. Do that. Another little box off of this would be cute. Let's pull one of these out and just see how it looks. And then we can decide if we want to add it or not. But we could do something coming out from there. I don't know. I kind of like that just the way it is. I think I mentioned earlier that I didn't have a lot of things blocked out on my calendar for this week, but I forgot one very important thing is the solar eclipse is on Monday. So I'm going to put this today sticker right here. It kind of looks like a sun. And I'll write in uh, because I am going to be in Illinois to see the solar eclipse. So definitely need to put that in there. Almost forgot about that. Now that's the only yellow thing I have, so I might need to do something else yellow to balance that out, but I think we're okay. I have another set of tomatoes here. Tomatoes, tomatoes, that I could use together somewhere, but actually I think it'd be cute to have one sitting right here by this pot. So I'm gonna cut these apart. And that's a pretty big tomato, but Maybe I should use the little one right there. I think that'd be cute sitting right beside it. Here's what I think I might do over here is just add this tomato and then since I have this green marker out, I'm not going to go look for my red one. I'll just do some bullet points down underneath the, the, the tomato. So I'll put my top three in there. And actually, I'm gonna use this pen to do my numbers. All right, I need to fill in something over here on my Sunday. Things that I like to always try to put in my plan is a spot for gratitude and Sunday would be a good time for that. I'll be kind of brave and draw a box here for my gratitude. think rather than gratitude, I'm going to put thankful in here. I could put bullet points in there, but sometimes I need more than one line, so I think I'm going to just do that, but I'm going to let grab some leaves there coming out of that. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I have my gratitude here. Um, this is going to kind of be Sunday rest and relaxation time. I think this might be about all I do. I don't want to fill up every single space because uh, there may be something come up that I need to draw a special box for. Um, that way I have the ability to do that during the week. Another thing that I like to include in my plan sometimes is a home focus section where uh, I, I kind of 
I try to plan for a different area of my home to focus on as far as maybe a little bit extra cleaning, a little bit more than I normally would pick up. So I think I might write that down here. I think I'll write home. And then just gonna go over this with the marker just to give it just a little bit of color. And then I'll write down what area that I'm focusing on that week. Sometimes I like to include a declutter section or a simplify section. And so th those are things I could write in later if I need to. Got my shopping list, my to-do list for running errands on Saturday. I always pick up my husband for lunch on Saturday. I can put that in here if I want to. I think the bee might be cute right here by this plant. Let's put him in here. Sometimes you feel like you've got too many open spots but you got to remember, you, you've got to write things in here. So I don't think I'm going to fill this up just because it looks like it's a big open space. I hope that I have plenty. I know I will have plenty to be thankful for. So I will fill that up with all of my blessings that I can recount during this week. And I've started planting my flowers and my husband is working in the garden too so I know we'll be doing gardening when we get back so I think I think this is good to go just like this I do want to encourage you to always make sure that you put something in your plan for some self-care some quiet time something special for you we get so worried about all of our to-dos that sometimes we fail to do things for ourselves. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up if you appreciated this video and got some fun ideas out of it. And of course, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That helps me to grow my channel so that I can see you more often and see others and bring them into the planning world so that we can all share this fun hobby together. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.